on uh, December 4th, 2023, 27-year-old Niani Finlayson called the police to help her with a domestic dispute she was having with uh, either a uh, estranged boyfriend or ex-boyfriend or current boyfriend, something, something of that sort. Anyhow, um, he had uh, allegedly choked her and pushed her daughter against the dresser. So there was some violence going on in the house. She called the police. And when they showed up, um, <laughs> she wound up shot. And I'm about to watch the body cam footage. So police are kicking in the door. So I'm going to watch this footage and give you my thoughts. The police were kicking the door, and but they're going to, I guess, um, wait before entering. So the police had their guns drawn. Okay, so now the, the, uh, the police have entered the apartment and Niani is telling the police that she was punched by the boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the daughter. The daughter saying she was punched and Niani is on the other side of the room. Wow. That was... Wow. Wow. So I'm so sorry I screwed up those details. So um, an officer, so the officers were kicking, kicking the door. The daughter opens the door. Cop comes in, gun drawn. I don't know how many police were, were behind the first cop. But um, so the daughter says he punched me. And then the body cam shows the other side of the apartment with Niani standing next to uh, the boyfriend. And uh, she has a knife drawn and um, I have to watch it again. I guess she was I guess the police thought she was, you know, going to stab him. So they shot her um, crazy. First of all, I don't want to make light of this. This is heavy. You know, there's nothing, nothing I could say. But, um, you know, all the best to the family. The family plans to sue the police department or the sheriff department. Um, for like thirty million dollars or something, but all of that aside, this is this is nasty, and the, the the twist is crazy because after after they shot Niani, the, the boyfriend is like, you know, why'd you shoot her? Like, you know, just a just a just a crazy, you know, um, a crazy turn of events. Um, like I don't even know what to say. Um. Wow, you know, coulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Um. Now she called the police, and I guess, um, well, not guess, but obviously she kept on doing whatever she felt was necessary to protect herself. But we'd hope that once the police show up, we'd have the uh the the instinct or the wherewithal to um step back and 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 try not to seem as if you are um threatening anyone involved or placing anyone's life in danger even though you were just in danger um and i'm not saying that's easy again i'm not i'm not trying to make light i don't want to be judgmental i'm just speaking in the interest of safety you know it's some um some monday morning quarterback sort of stuff but that's how we that's how we have to think um it's not easy to do when the situation is happening but if there's if there's any way for us to train ourselves you know if if thinking this way can help prepare us for um for these wild situations then um you know let's let's think this way let's try to let's try to prepare ourselves as best we can this is ugly I wish Niani was still here. I hate whenever, you know, you know, whenever, whenever a life ends, it's a terrible thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens, but just, just a wild, um, a wild turn of events. You know, you call the police to help you with someone who's, you know, hurting you and then you wind up dying. And then that person is like, 
yo, what's going on? You know, the, the, the perpetrator is like, yo, why'd you do that? And I wonder, um, not saying he's the victim, but I wonder like how that's going to play on his, his mental, you know, knowing that, knowing that he got a woman killed, you know, how is that going to affect him? Not that I'm sorry for him, but you know, in, in a sense, it's like those, those bullets or any, any danger, any force probably, you know, should have been meant for him, but you know, she, the, the victim received it. So, um, that's probably going to haunt him. That's what I'm saying. Um, not making excuses for anybody, not judging anybody, but it's just, it's just nasty. And, um, wow. May we all avoid situations, you know, such as, such as that one.